week of pre-season and you're about now, how are you feeling after that? Yeah, it's it's been good so far, it's been quite tough. Um, the new coaches have obviously come in with a lot of different sort of things they want to bring to the game, so we've been sort of breaking the uh, sort of like skills down in that sort of area, so it's been really good and they've brought in some different ideas for us going forward. You've both done a pre-season here before, how does it compare to what you were doing last year? Uh, I don't think it ever gets easier, obviously the first week back, you know, you get the body adjusting adjusting to the to the running and the, the bit of contact and the skills and whatnot, but I think it's a time of year where we can sort of ex excel in those areas and you know, looking forward to the next two weeks. It's your first time working with Jason Sam, what, what are you learning from him these early days? Yeah, so just the skill, the attention to detail that he's putting into each session is it's really good, you know, breaking it down from the very basics, but this is the time to do it and try and try and learn from that. And Scott, John, what's he brought? Yeah, I did a wee bit with uh, John uh, in the academy system, so I know a wee bit, but um, he's like it's the same as Jason. He's, he's broken it. He's broken a lot of things down. We're looking at like our ball carrying sort of stuff and how we can improve that sort of area and just the really sort of technical areas that are really sort of heightening us up on and making us sort of dig deep in those sort of areas. You mentioned the academy there. There's quite a few new academy boys in training with you. You've been in that position before. Uh, are you impressed by them? And are you able to? Are they able to lean on you with your experience? Uh, yeah, the the guys have come in really well. Uh, a lot of them have sort of just out of school, but they have really come in and impressed. And there hasn't really been a dip off in the training. I think uh, they've they've sort of come in and got a point to prove. And uh, yeah, I was in that situation last year, but they've definitely stepped up really well. So how are you finding it being one of the senior members of the group? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I <clears throat> not very senior, but I enjoy enjoy uh, just working with them. You know, um, there's these boys here that are you know 18, 19, and already smiles a uh, miles ahead of us. I think for the fat club, you know, everyone's pretty much a senior <laughs> pro in the in the niche, so they're they're sort of showing us up a little bit. But you know, it's good working with them. Half the squad are halfway around the world with the Lions or with the Scotland team. Are you able to keep an eye on them? Are you able to watch any of the games? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been, been following their games. Uh, they've had a, obviously a really good run against Italy at the weekend and I'm sure they'll have another great great match against Australia this weekend. So, so Yeah, um, I've just been talking to Nick today actually, Squigsy boy, and he seems like he's having a really good time in Singapore and now on to Sydney, so hopefully he gets a bit of game time. And, and same with the other boys, you know, it was a good win against Italy, and hopefully they can have a good, strong match this weekend against Australia. Right? I was going to say, is there, a, <laughs> is there a conflict of interest there? You no, no, oh, this is my third year here now, so I want the boys to do their best. I'm all, all about the, the Scotland boys, or especially the Glasgow guys, so I wish them all the best and a good win, hopefully, after the last few occasions.